A teenager from a Pembroke Pine school has been arrested for allegedly making threats against a private school in Miami. Police say that the 14-year-old threatened to go on a shooting spree after losing on a popular online video game. Investigators say the boy confessed to making the threats, and we are now getting reaction. Local 10's Roy Ramos is live with more. Roy. Nicole and Calvin, as you mentioned, this teen just 14 years old, and he doesn't even attend St. Brendan's High School here in Miami. He attends another school in Pembroke Pines, about 30 miles away from where we are standing. Well, that did not stop investigators from tracking him down and arresting him. He now faces some pretty serious charges. Parents whose students attend St. Brendan Catholic High School shocked to learn of violent shooting threats made toward the school by who investigators said was a 14-year-old boy. Now these days, so you know, you take anything seriously. A detective with the Broward Sheriff's Office was first tipped off to the comment posted to YouTube in late August by the FBI. While they learned the teen was not a student at the high school, it was the threatening and descriptive language that caught their attention. We heard that it was uh, in a video game that it kids make some comments. The teen apparently losing at a game of Fortnite, which was followed by posts that read, I can't wait to injure my classmates on September 12th, and I will bring a weapon to St. Brendan High School September 12th. The teen also warned students at the school to be ready. Nowadays, that these kids are making these these threats and stuff, they think it's a game, they think it's funny. Administrators at the high school were notified of the threats and released this statement that read in part, the minor is not a student at St. Brendan High School and has been apprehended. We have been notified by law enforcement at this time. They do not believe there is a credible threat. The safety of our students is top priority. The teen who police said is from Pembroke Pines was ultimately tracked down and arrested, but it is parents and students who are just fortunate. Investigators put a stop to the menacing messages before they escalate related to more than just threats. They need to be careful what they post online, what they post on their Instagram, Facebook. And that teen was ultimately taken to the juvenile assessment center. He faces that felony charge of written threats to kill. The good news here is investigators did find that threat not to be credible.